Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we're gonna be doing a reading challenge. Today, I'm gonna be doing it for a week. Today is Friday, June 21st and I want to read 200 pages a day for the next week. I have only finished three books in June, which any amount of books finished is valid, but Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home was over 500 pages. So that just like took me a long time to read, obviously. And I just had like other things going on and I was sick and you know, all this stuff. I also DNF'd a few books. Like I just DNF'd To Kill a Kingdom yesterday, like halfway through the book because I just did not care and I didn't want to put myself in a reading slump by trying to finish it. Especially when I knew I wasn't going to give it a very high rating. Yesterday, I actually started A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm on page 62 right now and I have been enjoying it so, so much. I've been like highlighting and tabbing and all sorts of different things. I normally don't annotate books, but for some reason this one just felt like I wanted to. I just catch myself reading and then I think things and I'm like, wow. I'm not exactly sure what book I'm going to read after Songbirds and Snakes. Um, it is around 500-ish pages. 517 pages. So obviously this will take me a little bit of time. So yeah, let's just, let's just get started. Oh, hi. It is around 9 p.m. on Friday right now. Same day as I did the intro earlier today. I have not done any reading. I have been filming and trying to do stuff and then I had to cook dinner and you know how it goes. And I'm gonna finish the- I just started a new episode of Vanderpump Villa so I am gonna finish this. I'll leave the reunion for tomorrow and then I'm going to get started reading again. So I am currently on chapter 5 page 62. So I have to get to page 262, which is, I believe, after part, I, I would get into like part two. So that's the plan. I was really flying through this last night. I started yesterday, I think on page like 15 or so, and I went from 15 to 68 in like a matter of an hour. And I was just like, whoa, okay, I want to do that. I'll probably stay up late reading, but tomorrow's Saturday and I don't have a whole lot to do, so. Yeah, I will check in either later tonight when I finish my pages or tomorrow. Okay, listen. I did not read a full 200 pages of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes last night, but I did write down everything that I like read for yesterday. So I read 86 pages, but I also listened to the final two hours that I had of The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. And I listened to 2 hours and 45 minutes of Circe by Madeline Miller. So I'm going to collectively call that a win. Because I'm pretty sure if we collect up all those pages it would be around 200. I just don't. I do have Circe. I could figure it out. But I'm not going to. My, my challenge, my rules. <laughs> so I have been working on stuff all morning. I kind of did like a slow morning with... Um, I called my mom and I called my sister and it was really nice. But now I think I'm going to go to my storage unit, go pick up some stuff, drop some stuff off, and then I'm going to come home and read for a little bit. It's so nice out today. It wasn't originally supposed to be this nice, but yeah, and then I'm going to come home and I'm going to read for a little bit because I'm not going to leave my 200 pages until, um, I'm not going to leave them until I go to bed tonight. <laughs> so yeah. That's kind of where I'm at, and I will update you after I get done reading. Hi guys, just a little update. I have read 46 pages today in The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I also listened to An Hour of Circe. I think I mentioned in my intro that I didn't want to, you know, count audiobooks in this, but I'm realizing more and more that is really truly how I like to read and I'm not good at sitting down and just reading for hours on end. 
I'm not good at it at all. I get really fidgety and I just like have to do other things with like my hands. Um, it takes a lot for a book to truly like hold me for more than an hour at a time. That's unfortunately just me <laughs> and how I am. I listened to an hour of Circe and then I also I also did end up going to the library and checking out The Son of Neptune and The Mark of Athena. Uh, just because they both have longer wait periods and I apparently just couldn't help myself. After I went to my storage unit, I was like, well, I can go to the library. It's fine. So I only read about eight pages of this before I fell asleep for my little nap this afternoon. The font is so big. I So I didn't realize that these were like middle grade, I guess. I should have known, but the characters are like high school aged. So I figured it was more like kind of teen, I guess. I don't know, but no matter. So I am currently kind of tandem reading these. I also don't know what it is, but I'm not very good at like binging books for whatever reason like if I feel like I've been reading a book for too long at a time I will switch to another book which which is why I like reading more than one book at a time so yeah these are just what I'm working with I will be reading those later today but right now um sewing in the ends on these granny squares kind of has to take precedent over um reading just because I do kind of want to be done with this project. I am making this really beautiful like poncho thing for my best friend for Lollapalooza, the music festival that we're going to in August. And um it's just been like stressing me out. And it's it's my fault that it's stressing me out, right? Um especially now that I have all the squares done, I don't want to wait until the last minute to get them all put together. Like, I want to have this done. I want to not worry about it. I want her to be able to wear it. All those nice things, you know? So, right now, I am just eating strawberries, and I am about to watch a movie, which I don't ever really do. So, we'll see. It's Bride Wars from 2009 with, um... Has Kate Hudson, which I know that I've seen the actor and things, but I actress and things, but I just like no clue at this moment. Um, and Anne Hathaway, so that's what I'm gonna be working on, and yeah. Hi. Um, <laughs> I just got to chapter thirteen. Um, and if you've read this book, I don't know if you cried during this the like last scene of chapter twelve, but I did. I just thought it was a very sweet moment. I have a 104 pages left to read, or, well, less than that now, about 100 left. And I just, oh my god. <laughs> it's not so much about their love story, because I know that this is not, like, a romance book. That is not the reason why it was written. But I think it's just, like, like, the Hunger Games are such a gruesome thing. And I think not that they weren't gruesome in the first trilogy, but I think, like, Katniss very much, like, resigns herself to what the potential ending could be. Whereas, you know... Lucy Gray, she's just, I, she's just like me. She's just so human. And it just shows, like, so much humanity. And it's really hard because, you know, she, to her heart, is, like, a good person. So, like, how is she supposed to go in this arena and expect to, you know, hurt other people and then still, you know, be a good person? How How does morality work like that? And... I didn't even cry in the movie. I feel like, you know, reading this and watching the movie, I really liked the movie a lot, but I don't think it showcased, like, the parallels because, like, Lucy Gray and 
Coriolanus are basically supposed to be foils of each other, you know. Coriolanus is, like, bottom of the food chain for the capital, but then Lucy Gray is, like, bottom of the food chain in general, basically being from District 12, but, like, being an outcast of, like, the Covey. Like, it really just does a good job of showing, like, all this stuff, and I think it's hard because, like, Snow is, like, sharing so much with her, but at the same time, it's really hard because he only shares because it's in his best self-interest. But obviously, Lucy Gray just sees it as, like, a kind gesture. Because, I mean, it is kind, but he only does it to serve himself. But we only know that because, like, we're in his head, you know? Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. I just wanted to talk, I guess. Hi guys! So I finally finished my 200 pages for the day. So I'm on page 291 of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm over halfway done with it now. I am just like floored by this book. Like I just, I love it so much. I am about 30 pages away from part three, and that's the final part of the book, and the book is 520-ish pages, I believe. I don't know if I'm going to be reading a full 200 pages of this tomorrow, just because, as I said before, I'm not very good at binging books. I like, I like grazing my books a little bit more, so I think I'm going to read a little bit of The Son of Neptune tomorrow. Probably around 50 to 100 pages. This font is so, like, big. And these pages are so white. Like, I don't know what it is. These pages look, like, off-white, almost like a yellowy color. Especially, I mean, under, you know, my Christmas lights in here. But, like, these pages are bright white. I don't, I know that that, like, literally means nothing. But, but yeah, it is time for me to finish this. If you ever wonder what kind of drinker I am, I'm a slow one. 90% of the time. I've been drinking on this since I started the movie that I was watching at 7. And it's technically midnight now. But we're not going to be those people that count it as, like, tomorrow. No. <laughs> I finished my 200 pages for today. I'm really proud of myself. Tomorrow I'm going to be splitting between The Son of Neptune and Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I don't know how much longer. I at least want to get to part three tomorrow in this book. But as I said, not good at binging books. I also don't entirely enjoy binging books. I think that's why I like to read so many at one time. I like to just kind of like take stories a little bit slowly, but I also, you know, just like love reading. The only books that I'd say I'm really good at binging are audiobooks, but even then, like I can binge for a whole day and let's say I get like 60% through the book, I will like wait a couple days before returning back to it cuz I'm just like, "No, I'm not I'm not ready." You know, it just I don't know. But yeah, it is time for me to finish this and go to bed. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, a little update. I finally got to part three in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and then I stopped. So that was around 30-ish pages, and I do plan on reading a little bit more tonight. I started The Son of Neptune, and I'm on page 62 right now. And then I listened to about, it was from 32% to 40%, so I approximated that to maybe like 20 pages. I just like don't know, but I think I'm at around like 120, 110 pages for the day. So that's pretty good. Uh, if I don't just sit and try and binge all those pages at once, it's a lot easier. It's crazy how that works, right? <laughs> I've really been liking this on Neptune. I like kind of want to get to page at least 100 today, if not like 120. Really interesting how um, it's almost like this is a counterpart to the lost hero. And it's also cool to kind of be in Percy Jackson's head again. Um, so he like has amnesia and he ends up going to a different camp. And it's, I don't know. 
I don't know what's a spoiler and what's not. I read The Trials of Apollo, so I guess I kind of spoiled it for myself, but I thought that the end of The Lost Hero and all of that was just, like, super cool and interesting the way that they kind of did it. But, yeah, that's all I have for an update right now. I'm going to take a little bit of time to relax, probably knit a little bit, and then we'll see. Oh, come on. And then we'll see where the evening takes me. All right, hi, I didn't end up updating again last night. I was so tired, I fell asleep around like 9 p.m. I was like, 9 p.m. rolled around and I crawled in bed and just conked out. It was amazing. <laughs> um, I did finish my 200 pages. I got to page is it 86 in The Son of Neptune and 324 in A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And then today I have already read almost the entire 200 pages. I listened to the rest of the audiobook for Cersei and that was a 144 pages. And I really, I really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. It's very like captivating. I think it's hard because it's not romantic in the way that like the Song of Achilles is, which is Madeline Miller's other very popular work. A lot of people didn't jive with Cersei so much, but I think like... I think Cersei is much more an exploration into like what it means to be a woman and throughout you know Cersei's existence you know because she is alive for thousands of years she really has time to like reflect you know what is mortality what is being a mortal a mortal versus immortal you know like living forever i just i really enjoyed it i will say i liked the song of achilles better but that doesn't mean that this wasn't an amazing read and then i have i went down to the pool today and read a little bit more of ballad of songbirds and snakes i am on part three now i got to page 352 so i read around it was like 33 pages or so so i really don't have that many pages left for the day um and I think I mentioned this before, but I know that audiobooks can be seen as kind of like cheating. But that's how I like consume content. That's how I do consume like books and that's how I like to read books. So I don't know. I also clearly just like don't have the page stamina for 200 pages a day yet. And that's something that I can work on, but with wanting to like pursue so many different hobbies you know can kind of be a little difficult but i think the next audiobook that i'm going to read is survive the night by riley sager this would be my first riley sager book and i think it'll be um i'm gonna have to do some math to figure out like pages and stuff in that one but i am going to count that I would like to finish The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes before July 1st, which is next Monday. So then I at least have, you know, one more book on my June wrap-up. I just feel, not silly, but I just, throughout June, I um, got really far through a couple books, but then DNF'd them because I just did not care about what was going on. And that's something I'll probably talk about more in my wrap up, but it's just kind of been more of a slower month for me. Also still like recovering from being sick and, you know, trying to put more effort into my YouTube videos and, you know, filming more tutorials and stuff, which I'm very happy and excited about, you know, but yeah. So I'm going to go about the rest of my night and I will finish my 200 pages easily. I think it'll be in this one. You know what else this challenge has taught me? I hate reading hardcovers. I hate them. Like a very strong hate. The way my wrists hurt from holding this is kind of asinine. I also am like getting frustrated because it's not very comfortable to like read laying down. So I'm like, oh, I want to read on my Kindle, but I don't have these books on my Kindle. And I don't want to buy them on my Kindle. Yeah, and then like this one, this one's heavy. Like this is a thick, this, I mean, they're both thick. They're both around 500 pages. But like this one, for whatever reason, is so much heavier than this one. 
but whatever. I also have like basically ruined this cover because I always am like putting lotion on. One of my biggest icks is like dry hands that I can't stand having dry hands. <sighs> and so I have, I don't know if you can see. No, I don't think so. I'll like put lotion on my hands and then I'll put my grubby hands on my book. And so it's like all grease stains and stuff. I don't know. It's a very, I love like the green with the gold embossing. It's very like regal. Honestly, I think I would buy a special edition of this book. There are very few books that I would buy special editions of. But I think this, uh, depending on how it ends, which I mean, I've seen the movie, I know what happens. But it's interesting, the, I guess, differences. And we'll see what happens now that we're where we are. Because I really found that like this first half was, I mean, you saw, I, I cried. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Ugh, I just wish I could like talk about things openly. Being spoiler free is so difficult, but it's fine. I will talk to you guys later, probably tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, June 25th, and I haven't read anything today. Um, I finished, or no, I did start Survive the Night by Riley Sager last night, and I did hit my 200 page goal but today yesterday and today i've been having a really 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 tough time with my mental health so today i am going to still try and read but i'm not gonna count it as a fail or a failure if i don't get to those 200 pages i'm still gonna try and push myself because i want to you know challenge myself but when i say that it's been it's been a very like difficult couple of days it is really like trying and wearing on my brain so i just you know i have to take care of me and hopefully i can be in lighter spirits to be able to you know finish up the challenge strong but it's kind of where i'm at for now so. okay so i have finished survive the night by riley sager I gave it two stars. I, I don't know, it was just not, it was not it in my opinion. But I wanna try other Riley Sager books. Um, I've heard a lot of people like talking positively about them and stuff. That book has been like on my Libby like to read or like want to read for years now. So honestly, it's kind of nice that I can just like move it off of there. And then I really wanted to finish The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So I went and looked if it was available on Libby. And surprising enough, it was. I think that's the first time I've ever seen it be like available to borrow just like right off the bat. I only have two hours and 15 minutes left and I'm listening to this one at 1.75 speed. And I'm just going to listen to that until it's done and then obviously move on to something different. I've definitely already read my 200 pages for the day, so that's been kind of nice. Um, but I am going to like actually sit down and like read some pages tonight, probably once I finish the project that I'm about to start working on. So yeah, that's the update. Hi guys, I just wanted to hop on and close out this vlog. I or like reading challenge I guess is the proper term I ended up finishing survive the night the ballad of songbirds and snakes Circe and the lost hero yeah you'll hear more about these in my reading wrap-up I know I kind of talked a little bit about each book as I was finishing them I just got kind of busy towards the end of last week and I was having a really bad like mental health week so trying to get in all those pages on some days was a little difficult and then on Saturday I did vend at the Pride Festival here in Rapid City and I don't know if you can tell gosh it looks really bad right now my entire like my entire forehead there is swelling and like I'm about to start peeling on my nose so yeah 
Let me know if you liked this video. Leave suggestions for other reading challenges in the comments. I would love to do more, um, especially on weeks that maybe my roommate is working nights and I'll have a lot more, you know, time to myself. But don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.